Good evening, all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Friday night session where we get to share. And I hope you can see me all good. And I hope you can hear me. Let's start there, first of all. Good evening. My name is Tony Viola Dada, for those of you who don't know, but I know that I'm with friends. And so, how are you all doing? Kalila, Nathaniel. Alayde, who else do we have? Shonette. Okay, so we have a few people in the house. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Okay, so welcome. For those of you who are familiar, we have decided over the last few weeks to take a pause as we reflect and look back over the last eight years or so that we've been running the Grow Personal Success Mentoring Program and decided to invite some 
people to come and join us. Well, when I say people, to invite some graduates to come and share with us their experience, both before we met, during the GPS program, and then as a result of the program and how life has fared since. And really for me, it was an opportunity to, as I say, pause and celebrate those people who had faith in the work that I was doing and trusted me and enabled me to support them. Because obviously had it not been for those individuals then things would not have blossomed as to where we are now with all of you wonderful people. So how's your week been? I don't know about you, but I have had an amazing week. For those of you who are in our book study club and reading the Celestine Prophecy, I have had some Celestine Prophecy moments. You know, when it talks about paying attention because people have a message for you and uh, it's about being aware and being conscious and being open. So yeah, I've had lots of that happening to me this week. And next week, I'm going to have one of our guests who is also a member who's done this GPS program, who his story is probably going to blow you away based on his Celestine prophecy experiences. So for those of you who are not in our book study club, I would definitely encourage you to join us. It's an opportunity for us to not just read books, but to study books. And by that, I mean to get into, at least attempt to get into the mind of the writer. What was the writer wanting to communicate when they put the pen to paper? And so we have deep debates, discussions around different aspects of the book. And as I said, if you have not joined, we have a session, oh, starting tomorrow, by the way, and you're more than welcome to join. If you'd like to join, then simply um, click on the link that one of my team will put in the group. I believe the email address will be info at tonydada.com if you want us to reply to a message. And, and we'll hook you up. Okay, so tonight we have two guests that are going to be sharing with you. I'm really looking forward to this. And because it's a full evening, feel free to ask questions if they arise, but I think you're gonna find it an inspirational evening and an evening full of color, let's put it that way. So first of all, I am going to invite our brother. I just want to check that he's he's here. Okay. And let's see. Ade, are you in the house? Okay. At the moment, it looks like Ade is not here. Okay. So that is going to be interesting. Okay, so Ade, if you are in the group, I'm wanting to, to um, make you a panelist, but I can't see you. So if you can type, just to let us know that you're there. Uh, so Gita, how are you doing whilst we're waiting for Ade? Uh, I'm good. Long time no speak or see. I hope everything is good. Who else do we have that I haven't seen for a while in the group? Okay, Pastifa, how are you doing? It's been a while. Okay, so I think we are... Ade is not here. So I think what we're going to have to do is move on to our second guest. Let me just try one more time. Okay, so, all right, no edit. 
Okay, well, it looks like it's going to be more of a conversation for our sister Kalina, who is our second guest. Kalina, I'm going to promote you to panelists. So if you could join us, please. Okay, so good evening, Kalina. Are you there? Okay, so Earth to Kalina. <clears throat> Greetings. Hi, Kalina. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. For a moment, I thought both of my guests were not going to show up. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so how are you doing, Kalina? I'm good. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Got a long time cold. coming. That you've got a bit of a cold. A little bit of a cold, but other than that, I'm good. Okay. All right. So, well, I mean, I wanted to to leave you till a little later because your journey is, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to talk about. Oh, good gracious. Sorry, I just needed to clean that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can see me okay. All right. Okay. Well, we can see you now. <laughs> So, I want to start off by asking you to start at the beginning, really, in terms of where you were before we, we hooked up or how the connection was made, because I think it's quite an interesting story that you have. And, yeah, without any further ado, you know, I mean, I want to say, first of all, thank you for taking the time to join us today. Uh, and it's, I'm really pleased that you were able to make the time. I know when I spoke with you earlier on in the week, you know, I, I thought your story is definitely one that should be shared. So I'm glad that you've taken the time and, and we'll, we'll, we'll go wherever the conversation flows. How about okay. that? yeah are you cool with that i'm good with that yeah I'm good okay with that, yeah because I, I believe that you wanted to share yes most definitely. okay cool. yes, yes. all right then over to you but first of all i want to say greetings and great advising to everyone and first of all i need to um give thanks and praises to the most high the all seeing and the all knowing for giving me the opportunity of being here with that said and done i've given my thanks to the most high um, so where should I start? Oh gosh, is about. Well, what I'd like to start is where were you before we met? Before I met. Yeah, what was going on in your life? What was going on in my life? I was at a point in my life where um, I did not really have a structure in my life. I didn't know where I was going. Um, I had no goals. Um, I was at a point in my life where I was at a crossroads. And I wasn't feeling good about myself at all. Okay. You wasn't feeling good about yourself? No. Okay. Um, thinking back, I was at a point in my life where I felt as though I was dying. And when I say dying, I mean spiritually dying, mentally dying, emotionally dying, and wanting to just give up basically wow i mean that's really quite a powerful statement and i guess we all feel like that sometimes and this is why we wanted to invite people like yourself to share their story because there's a lot of people who may be in a similar position and it's that's going right. to be really yes, that's right. to hear how things turned around for you so please carry on yeah so i was in a lot of pain um, I didn't tell anyone, kept it to myself. And then I knew I needed help, but I didn't know how to ask for help or where the help was going to come from. I happened to be listening to the radio and it was a Sunday and I was listening to Galaxy Radio and I heard the voice of Tony Dada. Now oh. at that time, at that time, I needed to hear 
a comforting voice. And so because your voice was a comforting voice, um, it immediately resonated with me and I started to listen, really listen this time. And you were talking about your book, Grow, um, Grow Personal Success book. Um, a lot of things you said in there resonated with me in terms of, um, you were talking about the seven principles of um, universal principles, like self-love, um, the law of honoring yourself, the law of persistence, things like that. And I've never, ever heard anything like that. And so it really did make me listen. Wow. Fortunately, though, once I listened, I didn't do anything about it. Wow. I didn't act. Is there a reason why you didn't act? It could have been that I wasn't ready and it could have been that I was scared. Okay. Because it's almost as if you'd heard something and what you'd heard had struck a chord. Now, what do I do? Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. I, I, I have to do something <laughs> and I'm scared. That's right. So I left it. And then a couple of months again, sure enough, I was listening to the radio again and you were on there again. And so this time I had to speak to myself and I said, clearly you have to do something. This could be your last opportunity. Wow. And so I, you read out your details and I took your details. And I spoke to myself again because I didn't know whether I was going to contact you or not but I had to be brave and I kept saying to myself Kalila you've got to phone this man there's something that I wanted you to make reference to because when you told me I was really quite shocked mm -hmm. you spoke about uh, one occasion I don't know which one and that's why perhaps you could clarify that uh, you I recall you saying that you felt like the room was spinning. What, yes. what could you tell us about that, that story? Once I was, I was speaking to you on the phone, Tony. Oh, so this is after the two sessions where you heard on the radio. Yes. You then decided to, okay. Oh, it's coming. Okay. So. Yes. yes, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. I, I decided to ring you. Okay. I spoke to you on the phone or I told you a little bit about myself. You told me a little bit about yourself. However, within, I'd say about 15 minutes or so. Into the conversation. Uh, into the conversation. Something happened that scared the life out of me. I felt something go through me. I had a transformational experience that it seemed as though my heart, mind and soul was aligning. And I remember thinking to myself, who is this man that seems to be looking into my soul? Wow. And like I said, it scared the life out of me. But instantly, I knew I wasn't going to die. Before that, I felt like I was dying, but I knew then I was not going to die. Wow. I, I mean... I felt it inside here. So I'm pausing because... Even I didn't hear this full version. Yeah. I'm just on the phone talking to a sister. And meanwhile, all of that stuff is happening. Yes, that's all right, yes. Yes. Wow. Well, give thanks to the most high because yeah, always. If, if you were at a point where you felt like you were dying and I was used to just speak, I don't even know what I said mm -hmm. to you, but if it if it was able to bring you to a sense of awareness that you were aware that you were not going to die. Well, then give thanks to the Most High. That's right. I just I knew there and then. I knew there and then I was not going to die. I was going to be saved. Yes. I didn't know that it was. I didn't know it was such a critical state that you were in. Most definitely, it was, yes. But I do recall, and this may have been that incident, so I don't remember what the conversation was, but I remember having one conversation with you, and this was really very early on, and it might have been that conversation, because that this conversation went on for a, a while, about half an hour or so. About half an hour. And 
at one point I could feel a sense of this lady's she's not going to take action and and I had to speak to you to say I can't remember what the words were but I know I can remember because I was actually in my car and and I was like I'm like it was a Sunday she said and normally I don't do those kind of things on a Sunday like speaking with people and yet here I was I found myself I parked up in my drive and yet something was saying don't terminate the call stay with the sister until you get to a point where she agrees to take action right. and so I sat there for about half an hour in the conversation with you and then we ended and it was on a positive note and that's when I knew that there was something powerful that was going to take place here yes yes definitely so, wow so we had the conversation and yep. then you decided that you were going to take some action that's right wow what a what powerful so what was the next step um, the next step was to embark on the course. Wow. Okay. Grow personal so, success holistic course. So, so we embarked on the court on the program, the Grow Personal Success Mentoring and Coaching Program, and it was a very interesting journey. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize until probably about eighteen months later, when I happened to have a conversation with your brother at one of our dinners yes it was only then that i came to get a sense of how acute mm. your situation was before we met mm. and how i came to that realization he said to me this is at our dinner he said i'm, I'm really glad to come and, and just see what my sister was doing and what she was being involved in because she seems like she's changed i said what do you mean he said well you don't know my sister, the old Kalila, she wouldn't leave the house. I used to have to, if she wanted to go out, I would have to drive from the other side of town and come. Was that true? That was true, yeah. Yeah, That's, I had so many fears, so many fears. Yes. And so I didn't know this, but then here we are. We do our GPS journey, and I'm going to give you an opportunity to just share you know what were some of the poignant things that mm. that you know sh were able to lift you up yeah. to a, a sense of feeling like you could participate in life again but within 90 days what i observed because i didn't know any different you were able to open your own front door and go out yes yeah what else took place that was a shift that i didn't know about that you might want to share into well, Kalina to the, the transformed Kalina. Yeah, well, um, I was able to go out in the dark. I never used to go out in the dark. Wow. Now no one can stop me from going out. <laughs> yeah. I'm here there and everywhere now. <laughs> yeah. But there was an incident that I think I'd love for you to share mm. in your own words. You see, what I found with the Grow Personal Success is that many people do not actually know who they really are. Mm. They're not aware of the gifts, talents, and abilities that lie inside of them. Yeah. And, and as a result, they're kind of just drifting through life, which is such a shame. Yes. You know, I'm blessed that the Most High has given me that grace and opportunity to see gifts inside of people. But something happened to you where the drum was concerned. Yeah. which has completely changed your life. Yeah. Would you like to tell us about I that? I will, yes, yes. Well, as I embarked on the Grow Personal Success Holistic Mentoring course, um, my um, self-limiting beliefs um, dropped away. Um, I was no longer in prison, so it allowed me the freedom to go out. So once I started to go out, I started to meet new people. And um, I was with a sister and she said to me, she does African drumming, would I like to come? And I said, well, I'm not really interested in African drumming. So no, not really. So she said, well, just come along and see what it's like. So I said, okay, I'm gonna come and go along with you. I went along with her, sisters were drumming, brothers were drumming. 
And um, the, the teacher said to me, well, you might as well drum because you're his, Camila. And I said, well, I don't really want to do it. And he said, look, drum. <laughs> so I thought, okay, let me drum. <laughs> and the moment, Tony, the moment I put my hand on the, dr the drum, I knew it was for me. What do you mean, Kalila? I felt something that said, Kalila, this is going to be part of your purpose. And I start, started to play the drum and the teacher said to me, Kalila, you are a natural. And I haven't looked back since then. Wherever I go, my African drum goes with me. I feel as though my, the drum is with me when it comes to African spirituality, I feel as though my ancestors are connected and connecting with me through the drum. I feel alive when I'm playing the drum and I go into a different world when I play the drum. I'm no longer here physically, spiritually, I go somewhere else and that is part of healing. And so wherever I go, I take that drum with me. And so, you know, one minute Kalina was just Kalila and then the next minute, it's like, Tony, this is, this is a part of me. Yes. And yes. this drum, as you said, as you touched it, yeah. there was a connection that was made. That's right. And that connection has never been broken since. And well, that drum has taken you to all manner of places. So many different places, Tony, to the theatre, to school, where I perform. I performed in front of the mayor. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> incredible yeah. and now you're at a point where as i understand it you're just about getting i mean i know that for a, a long period of time your drum actually generated a source of income for you, for you without Most, without you even trying without me even trying tony it's the passion that just drove me through and and people could feel people. that and they were then asking you to come and play for them and they pay you exactly Etc. Exactly. Etc. Yes. And so you've actually found a vocation. Yes. And now you're going to take things to the next level. Yes, I am. By actually sharing the gift that life has given you. Yes. It sounds so very different from the Kalina of old. Yeah, the, the, the Kalila of old has died. The Kalila oh. of old has died. That's a big statement. Yes, most definitely. And as you say that, actually, I'm just reminded, because that's a big word to use. And you're not a, you know, you're not a little girl. You're a woman with five yes. children. Yes. The oldest child is? 41. Right. I didn't even realise it, 41. <laughs> so yes. for you to make that statement, it's not a flippant statement that you're making most definitely not and i know that your story is is going to be inspirational for so many women and yes. because we're in that time now where it is the rise of the feminine energy yes. it really is and i was blown away when a couple of years ago we were at an event Mm -hmm. and your mother started coming along to our events and on this particular occasion I think we were celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Ethereum mission that the mission that Brother Ishmael set up here in the UK so you came with your your mother yes and and your mother took me outside and and she said to me and this is your mother and she's like Tony you do know you saved my daughter's life mm -hmm. and I had to come in I was like that's a big statement. Yeah. And it's only then that I realized how massive a transformation yeah. it has been for you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my close, 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 um, my close family, all my family around me who have known me all my life, they, they say to me, what has changed? And I tell them what has changed. They, you know, they can't believe that. I'm at, and sometimes, Tony, I have to pinch myself. Um, I, because I'm actually going to facilitate African drumming sessions for children and sisters. And I was the one that said, "Well, I'm not interested in drumming. Now I'm going to teach drumming." I actually co-present on a radio station as well. So 
all these things for me is like the old, that's why the old Kalila had to die. Yeah. For me to live, it's like I've been reborn again. Wow. And that reborn is really as a result of, because I really want to put the spotlight where it's due. It is simply as a result of you deciding to live. Yes, that's and, right. And in order to live, it was a decision to take action, to do something, to get your life moving. You know, when you mentioned earlier on, when you first heard it on the radio, I, I really want to, I want to expand on that point because I find so many people, so many people are in that place where they hear something or, or they know something to be true, but they just are wishing on a star or just hoping or praying. But, yeah. you know, faith without works in the good book, that's what it says. Faith without works is dead. It means yeah. that right. nothing can happen unless you take action. Yes, that's right, yes. And, yes. you know, I hope you don't mind me saying it, but at the time, because you made the decision, do you remember you said to me, Tony, I don't know how, uh, if I can even afford this, because that was the conversation we were having. Yeah. And I was like, can you afford not to do this? Yeah. Yeah. That was the conversation we were having, right? Yes, yes. And then, mm -hmm. a few, you know where I'm going, right? Yes. A few weeks later, or certainly a couple of months down the line, you were like, Tony, I don't understand what's happened. Nothing has changed in terms of my income, mm. but everything has changed because my finances seem, despite the fact that I'm doing this course, my finances seem to be stretching. Do you remember yeah. that conversation? Yeah, I remember, yeah. The, uh, the reason for that, Tony, was I didn't know how to think su successfully. I had a poverty mindset and I didn't, I didn't know it. And that was what was stopping me from moving forward. I always thought that if I don't, didn't have the money, I couldn't do anything. But that proved to be wrong. See, can you see why we had to take a pause <laughs> and just bring people like yourself, yeah. you know, to share the story? Because the truth of the matter is, unless you were here saying it to people, it's unbelievable. Yeah. If I wasn't in the session with you, yeah. I would say it's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah. But so many instances, another one that comes to mind, I don't know if you remember this. Do you remember when you spoke to me about the birds singing? Oh gosh, yes. Yeah. In your yes. Ring. I mean, it's yeah. almost as, as if within this 90 days, you had so many spiritual encounters that proved to you that something else is going on. Do you want to share that story with us? Yes, because I started to wake up early in the morning. And um, when you wake up really early in the morning, you can hear the birds so loudly. And I opened you, my you window. Made, but you made a choice that you wanted to get up early because you wanted to connect with nature and connect with life and, right. and do your meditations and stuff like that. That's so right. again, here you are you've made a conscious decision to want to live, to want to connect with life, to embrace nature. Yes, that's back, right, yes. Back, back to you, because that's really quite important. Yes, so I opened the windows to hear, to hear them loud, louder. And um, what I couldn't believe, Tony, was that I've looked at my window so many times and there was a tree, big, massive tree in front of my window. And I've never seen it. Wow. And I thought, where did that tree appear from? And the birds were there. And, you know, it reminded me of the song, I Can See Clearly Now. Right. Yeah, I can see clearly now, the rain has gone. It reminded me of that. And not only did I hear the birds, spirit came to me and said, get your drum. And so what I did, I listened to the birds and I drum to the same pattern. And Tony, I'm not lying. It's as though the birds were responded to me. They sang, I drummed. They sang, I drummed. And it was the same pattern. 
And I was just overwhelmed by it, overwhelmed when I heard that. And I tell people that story all the time. You know, because you came rushing to me and said, Tony, you will never believe what happened. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, once you've had the experience, no one can ever take it away from you. That's right. That's right. You know, it was these things that life knows. You see, I truly believe that life has a divine plan, purpose, and intention for all of us. And it's really about us waking up to that and wanting to participate in that experience. Yeah. Then when we say yes to life, life says yes to us yeah. in the most creative, unimaginable ways that will just ignite our soul. And that's what happened on that occasion. Yes, most definitely. Most it lifted definitely. your soul. Yeah. Sure. But you... you know, you know, Tony, if someone has said to me, um, Kalila, if someone has sat me down and said, Kalila, you're going to do a course called the Grow Personal Success Holistic Mentoring Course. And before that course ends, your whole life, your whole life in every which way is going to change. I would have said impossible. I would have said impossible, Tony. But because I've been through it, and I've felt it and I've done it. Now I believe that it's possible. Because you're experiencing, and we're talking about mentally, emotionally, yes. spiritually, financially, way. and in your relationships. In every way, yes, yes. So, wow. Yes. I mean, it was amazing to see you with your whole family turn up when you when we had our graduation ceremony for you. Yeah. I, was, I was so proud and the smiles and, and the thought in my mind that, wow, all of these people would have lost a treasure had you not made that move. And you know, sometimes it needs to be said, sometimes we may feel fearful to take action for ourselves. But then if that is the case, then perhaps it's that think about the others who will be who will benefit as a result of you taking action. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about your sons, their partners, and your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Like they are all able to experience you now right. in, in a in a more beautiful and abundant way. Yeah. And, and so this is what is so exciting for me to yeah. see people like you and then heal and then become alive to want to serve others that's right exactly that's and right. so when i talk about the rise of the feminine energy people you know some people think i go on about it too much but of course i'm going to go on about it when i've seen what i've seen like the story that you have shared yeah. because it shows me it isn't it ain't me i'm just a facilitator to mm -hmm. support what life wants to do and that that needs to be understood in the sense that we're now living in a new time. We've got coronavirus has changed the world. And it's true to say that in some respects, there's going to be a parting of, of, of people, two camps. The camp where it's fear-based, lack, limitations, worry, and, and poverty mindset. And then there's going to be this new camp, which same planet Earth, but what they see is possibilities, opportunities, abundance, yes. love, prosperity mindset, collaborative opportunities. Yes. And the point I want to make is that we, all of us have to take a look in the mirror and, and say, which camp am I in right now? And is that the camp that I want to stay in? Yes. Because you see this camp where there is abundance. You cannot experience abundance. And you are a, a testament to that. Yes. You cannot experience abundance until you've done the healing work first. Yes, I agree. Yes. Would you agree? Yes, I agree. Because you know the saying... He who feels it, but in my sense, she who feels it knows it. Yes. 
So yes. Yeah. And so when you felt like that death, near death experience, everyone could say, oh, you'll be all right, Kalina, but they didn't know your pain, so they can't help you. But equally, now that you've come to this place of new life and you feel it in the very depth of your soul, yes. equally. That's right. It, it, it's life affirming, isn't it? Yes, most definitely, yes, most definitely. And also, um, I remember getting on my hands and knees and saying to the Most High, why am I here? What's my purpose? And I got an instant reply, Tony, an instant reply that really made me jump. And it was, you are here to serve. Wow. That's the, that's the words I heard. You are here to serve. And I was like, okay, confirmed. <laughs> and, and, you know, I just really want to celebrate, you know, you and the journey because the old Kalida really wasn't serving you. And we had we had to do a lot of work to, yes. to let her understand, let that Kalida understand who the new boss in town was. Yeah. And, you know, and ever since then, there are there have been some ups and downs along the way, but you've yeah, been, you've been steadfast in the most. And I say that because you're so real, your story I know people can resonate with in the sense that. And this happens to most of us, if not all of us, that life got so good. Yeah. <laughs> life got so good, you kind of forgot yeah. how it used to be. And you kind of forgot that statement where it says, to whom much is given, much is expected. Much is expected yeah. And I see you on one occasion. In fact, we, we know it was January last year. <laughs> And I see you moving. I'm like, Kalina, K Kalina, like, <laughs> my sister, like, you're like, Tony, I got this, I got this. I'm like, because I see, I know how this thing plays out. I'm like, Kalina, I don't want to slow down a little bit. Like, no, Tony, I got this. Yeah. And, and then, and then we, we hit, we hit the curb a couple of times. Didn't yeah. We? yeah. That's right. Yes. Yeah. But the beauty of it is, is that, you know, you, even in that moment, it, it really kind of affirmed and confirmed mm. to you that truly your life, it would appear, has been served not for you to have a great time. No. You will have a good time, but yeah. the order of things is, you, as you said, because you now fully are aware mm. that your life was saved so that you can be a blessing to others. And when you do that, then your life will be a blessing because in order for you to be a blessing to others the blessing comes through you yeah that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's right. and so it's always rem about remembering the order of things yes don't party first and yes. then come back and take <laughs> care of business we take care of business and in taking care of business we get blessed and so that's i'm right. so pleased to see you smiling because now you know, it was a little bit rocky at some points last year, but you know, we're we're in this together long term. Yeah. yeah. And so I reached out to you and you yeah. took my hand and I was really pleased and we were able to work through it. Yeah. And I'm even more pleased now that we have sisters in the community who in the rich society who oh. some of them was and have been inspired by your story. Yeah they now have been able to reach out and support you as well. Yeah, so, exactly. you know, and we have the buddy system and the scheme, yeah. which is a blessing. So look, thank you so much for sharing. I see that Ade's actually showed up. So I'd like you to not go away because I'm sure there's going to be some questions that people want to mm -hmm. ask. But if you could turn your camera off for a moment whilst mm -hmm. I invite Ade. Okay. And then at the end, I'll bring you both back and then we'll have some questions and then we can chop it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thanks okay. so much, Tony. Thank yeah. you. What a story. Blessings. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, can you believe that? I, some of that stuff I wasn't even aware of. And so now you can understand why I love doing what I do. There is nothing better than being able to help people find their purpose and find their connection with 
their true self and true identity. So, wow, thank you for being so open, Kalila. Okay, next, I think Addy has shown up. And so I'm going to try to one more time. Are you there, Addy? I do not see him. Okay, are you there, Ade? Seems like we're having difficulty bringing Ade on this evening. So whilst he's trying to get his connection together, I will just go through some of the comments that I see in the chat. Okay. So, wow, lots of comments here. So we have greetings, Kalila. Lovely to see you on the panel. I am so looking forward to hearing your story again. So that came from Laura. And I think Laura, you'd agree, she expanded on the story this time. And wow, it was amazing. So who else do we have? Uh, Pestifa says, you found your gift. She certainly has. And as I said, you would find it, ladies and gentlemen, that this has really been inspirational. So someone says, I attended a funeral today and they played. I can see clearly. I can see clearly now. Look at that. Wow. It's so amazing when you can see clearly now. And the irony of it is, until you have that experience, you're going about your business thinking that all is good. But it's only when you get to that point where you have a paradigm shift or you have an epiphany that you can compare and contrast it to your former self. And hence, this is the reason why I'm always encouraging people, even if it's whether it's with me or, or someone else, it is so important for you to take time to honor yourself, because in honoring yourself, that's when you wake up to who you really are and can begin that journey of self-discovery. When we don't take time to invest in ourselves, and I'm talking about taking time, taking some energy, taking some resources, some money, and you know, invest in yourself, you are your biggest asset. And so it's, it's the way that you demonstrate to life that you are about this, about living your best life someone says i'm so pleased you are on this journey my sister it was truly a blessing to have shared food love and music with you last year keep being a queen um okay thank you for sharing okay all right i think we are going to invite can either to come back because Ade seems to have disappeared. So Kalila, would you like to come back on camera and we can ask some questions? I did see Ade, but uh, he seems to, I think he might have been blown away by, by your story and things. <laughs> what, what can I say? I can't say nothing against. All right, so Ade, if you are hearing us, I'm looking for you in the uh, in the group, but I can't see you. So once you're back on, then we'll we'll bring you bring you on camera. Okay. So does anyone have any questions for Kalina? I've seen some of the comments, but any questions? Okay. Whilst whilst they're thinking about their questions um, I'd like to ask you a question so you said that there's been changes in every which way now there may be some doubting Thomases here that be like well yeah that that could just be a figment of her imagination um, but we know that's not the case yeah. I mean can you describe how you see life now, how your outlook has changed, yeah. if at all, from well, the old Kalila to the new Kalila. Yes. Well, before the new Kalila, when I looked at life, 
it was hopeless. I didn't, I didn't think I had much to offer to the world. I really didn't. I didn't really believe in myself and I didn't seem to love myself. Now I see myself with unlimited possibilities. I see myself being free to do what I think I need to do and the things I will be doing. I, I have a completely different look on life now. The sky is not the limit for me. Wow. So here's a question, Kalina. Because you made a comment once, and, and I, I don't know, so I'm going to ask the question. But do you think that there are a number of women who have lived lives and had children and raised their children and yet have come to, after doing all of that, have come to a point where they are not clear about their purpose? Is it a, a minority or is, is this a, you know, a big issue? Yes, I don't think it, Tony, I know it. Because I've, I've, speak, I've spoken, spoken to women that are my age. Yes, we got married. Yes, we had children. Yes, we have a comfortable home. Yes, we have a nice car. Yes, we have enough food. We have enough money. But what did we do? We forgot about ourselves along the way, our hopes, dreams and desires. And when I speak to sisters, sometimes I'm at an event and I just happen to speak to sisters and I tell them a little bit about my story and they say, but that's exactly where I am right now. I'm just lost. I don't know what to do. Wow. Yes, I know. Well, well Ade, Ade's joined us. So before I bring Ade on, uh, clearly I just want to say that what I'm really excited about is now that you see what's really going on in our community mm -hmm. there are women like yourself and some of the other sisters who are on the practitioners training program that are determined to do something about this yeah. because we need you <laughs> quite simply yeah. you know in our community yes. if if our sisters in big numbers are feeling that they have no purpose, that energy is it has to has to change. Yes, most definitely. I agree. And you're gonna be and you're gonna be instrumental in helping us do that, right? I am, yes. Okay. All right. So all right, well we'll say goodbye to you for a moment again and, and uh, don't disappear. Okay. So now we have Ade. Wow, Ade, how, how are you doing? I am this is amazing. Every time Kalila disappears, Ade disappears. Oh. Okay. All right. He is struggling with his connection, unfortunately. So, all right. Well, oh, I think we have a few minutes. I hope that we can bring him on. So, Seanette asks a question. Uh, so, this is, I think I'm going to ask you to come, to come on, Kalila, and stick around this time because <laughs> Ade is having some difficulty, it would seem. So the question that has been asked is, from your experience with the Rich Society, what is your plan for your life in the next three years? Wow, that's a big question. <laughs> for the next three uh, years, my, my plan has already started. Um, I'm going to be facilitating drumming sessions for children and sisters. Now, I'm not just going to teach them drumming so they can just drum at home. I'm going to teach them the techniques and the skills of drumming so they can go out there and teach for themselves. So they can go out. It's a bit like sending out disciples to teach others. And once they teach those, they go and teach again. So that's my plan. My plan has already started. And I do plan to have a school of drumming for sisters and children. Oh my days. Wow. This is incredible because I remember way back when we were doing the GPS that you wanted to do something for yourself. Yeah. And it looks like you've now crystallized a vision that you are really passionate about. Yes, that's right, Jess. Well, when when you you know what when we focus 
on something, it grows and focus crystallizes and directs the powerful energy of the mind. So yes, it's all about focus. Wow. And so you had time to focus your mind and this is now what it has crystallized for you. So we're going to be wanting to support you and let us know your plans. You know, let's have a conversation because yeah. if there's ways that we can support, the rich society can support, I can support, we would love to. Yeah. We've just had a sister uh, who has just received some funding as a result of being able to support her. So I see that as something that is a demonstration of what's to come. So I'm talking about Sister Suzette, who has, as I say, within within 60 days of signing up uh, and starting the, the practitioner's program, has applied for some funding, asked us to support her in the application and has been successful wow. in the application, received some funding, we're going to match that funding. And so now she can begin to do her passion, which is to support brothers. Because mm -hmm. that's her calling. That's her, her thing right. to help and support brothers in the community. So, Beautiful, lovely. so I say that just to inspire you and to fire you up so that you I may find ways to find organizations to support you. So give Suzette a call and okay. she can hook you up. All right, so stick around. Okay. Ade, we are almost out of time. Can you turn your microphone on? Okay, so we can see you, but we can't hear you. Uh, good evening, can you hear me now? Okay, good evening. We can hear you. The background is very okay. It's very dark because you've got the light behind. Dark. But not to worry, it's been difficult. So don't move. It's cool. So I'm sure that in the little time that we have, let's let's share your story so that hopefully brothers can be inspired as we evening. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, okay. So right. The connection is quite poor. We, we can't really hear you very well, but let's, let's try. It's very crackly where you are. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, um, it's crackly. That's, that's the same thing that's happening. Okay. Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Is, Okay, yeah, okay. And I, I think we may have to try and uh, really let me, let me while I'm here, let me try. Yeah, we can't hear you. Okay. All right. What I'm gonna suggest, Ali, that I think I know you've been trying, but it's it's really not working. And I think we, we just mentioned that earlier on. So let's have a conversation and see if we can do something about it off camera but it doesn't look like it's gonna to work today, unfortunately. Okay, so. Yeah, my, my, my sister. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll, we'll stop the vision for that. Okay. And then we'll speak again. Okay, all right. So if you can, turn your camera off and then we'll just see if there's any final questions for Kalina. Wow, so. Tony. Yes. There is a question in the chat that I can see. Shall I read it out? Yes, please. It says, what was your toughest challenge, my sister, on your journey to self-discovery? Okay. So, my toughest challenge was learning to love myself again, was learning to fall in love with myself. Because for so many years, I hadn't, I hadn't taken care of myself. Um, I haven't loved myself. I wasn't eating very well. I wasn't um, exercising. So my toughest challenge was to undo all of that and to relearn 
and to fall back in love with myself. Or I'd even go one step further and say to grow in love with yourself. Grow in love. I like that. I like that. Grow in love. Because all we had was a seed of faith. And we were able to water that and nurture that, and it began to blossom. Yes. And the beauty of growing in love with ourselves is that it's a never ending, blossoming, emerging, revealing, yes. organic transformation, blooming. It's just continual. Yes. And it's important that you mention that because, I mean, saying this for decades to my sisters, but it is clear that nothing before it's time because now that you understand the spiritual law of focus, yes, my man's still trying to get back in. Yes. <laughs> I think it's I think it's probably best if we try to do this another time at a because we're we've got about 10 minutes left. And we've, we've got the same problem that the reception is just really poor where you are. So I suggest let's abandon it on this occasion, Addy. Let's you and I speak on the call, on a phone call, and then we'll take it from there. Okay. So what I was, um, I think what I was saying is that sisters don't seem to realize that when you deny yourself, it's it's not other people doing it to you, it's what you're doing to yourself. Would you agree? Yes, most definitely, most definitely, yes. Because your mind is either heaven or hell. That's how say, I that, say that again. Your mind is either heaven or hell. What do you mean by that? In terms of what you focus on. You focus on negativity, it takes you to hell. And if you focus on positivity, it takes you to heaven, paradise. And that's what I found with myself. So what I'm hearing you talk about is, is so it's all about the mindset. Most definitely, most definitely. And focus. Yes, yes. So what the mind focuses on because the mind is the powerhouse yes. the focus is the transmission of energy your spiritual life force yes and what you choose to direct it to will determine your experience is what you're saying yes most definitely Tony. most definitely so how would someone sisters listening who may come across this on facebook or you youtube if a you know if someone's in that space where they're experiencing hell in effect yes. so pain worry fear anxiety uh, sleepless nights all those kind of things how does one and how would you advise someone to how do they make that change from that state? How do they change their mind? The only way for anyone who is feeling like that, how I felt, the only way you're going to get help is you make a change. You've got to take action. You've got to reach out the song, reach out and touch, reach out, and we will connect with you and help you along the way. It's not about doing it by yourself. It takes a whole village. I felt alone. And if I didn't take that action, I would have continued to die. You don't want to die, sisters. You want to live. There's so much to live for. There's a lot of people that go to their grave, Tony, and they don't know what their purpose is. We need to know what our purpose is. Life is for living. So, um, make that change and once you do that we'll help you along the rest of the way i will help you along the rest of the way we all will help you along the rest of the way you know one of the things that i mean what you said i, I couldn't really there's nothing for me to to add to it you said it and it is what it is 
what I wanted to just bring to the fore is an interesting thing that I've observed over the 30 plus years that I've been in this space, looking at success and what we deem to be success and fulfilling. And what I've noticed is that for many, many years, if not decades, many of us were blindly following society's recommendations as to what success is, whether that be uh, in terms of in the workplace, or in your home with your partner or how you raise your children. I mean, many have been brainwashed for decades only to get to a point one day that they wake up and realize all of this stuff that I've been doing ain't working in my life and I ain't happy. That's right. Right. And it's only when we get to that point where we wake up to the reality that we have to determine our future. We have to create our own vision yes. based on, and that can only happen as a result of taking stock of who you are. No That's one else can do that for you. Right. You agree. And invest in, in yourself. Investing oh, time, investing finance. Investing. Oh, no, that's a difficult one. Now, no, Kalila, no, no, we've got a problem here now. <laughs> we have a problem because especially our people, when you say that to them, they think you're trying to take money from them. Yeah, yeah. I know, because I thought that as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've done the course, until I've done the course and it changed my mind. So yes, invest in self. It's all about so, okay. So that's a difficult one for to help people be convinced in the sense that I guess what you're saying though, now that you've experienced it, you're saying it as a spiritual law. Definitely, yes. definitely, definitely. That what you give attention to, what you and when we say give attention, it's not just your eyes and your energy, but money is actually energy. Yeah. And so when you give some of your hard-earned money to nurture your soul, whether it be through um, mentoring, coaching, or going on a retreat, or whatever it is, but the intention is clear that it's about focusing on you. Yes. You set a chain of events, spiritual events, in motion. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Because it's for me, you've put it out there into the universe. It's no longer something that you're not going to do. It's something that you have, have done. So it is now out there in the open. The universe hears it. The universe sees that you're willing to make a change. And the universe helps you along the way. That's and that. you're absolutely right. And this is the thing that is so expensive for some people to understand that the universe operates with order mm. and the law is you have to take the first step exactly. with faith you demonstrate that you're serious because we as people we say all kinds of stuff and you're shaking your head because you know you've been there you say what needs to be said to make it look good <laughs> yeah. and so i say life doesn't care what we it say because it knows us too well exactly. life like show me exactly show me something exactly that's right and when you do it's amazing because it's like you get a rush of support from all different places and you think where did all of this come from yeah yeah and it started with that change with that action that's where it starts wow this has been really really enlightening thank you so much for okay. sharing and it's Clearly, the universe knew that you had a very powerful message. This has never happened before. <laughs> so, Addy, I don't know what spiritual powers you were working with, bro, but they weren't strong enough. <laughs> like, Addy, you know, I need to, I just need to share my message. So, uh, but, you know, on a serious note, I really hope that the sisters are hearing and taking note, taking stock, 
and most importantly sharing yeah. in terms of inviting we're doing this as a free platform for you to invite your friends don't just take it for yourself and enjoy it we're living in a new time ladies and gentlemen where it's all about the rise of the feminine energy and so don't let's get it twisted you can be a woman and be operating in that male energy which is about i've got something good i'm enjoying it i'm not going to share it with anyone mm -hmm. don't be like that because that energy has had its time now it's about if you're experiencing something good share it there's a blessing that comes as a result of you doing that so that we get to transform our community you know amazing things are on the horizon i know for sure and i've been saying from the beginning of the year that this is the season of harvest for those who understand what i'm saying then it's time for you to dream big and take big action you feel me kalila i feel you definitely definitely okay. yes and like all seasons they have a beginning and they have an end the wise ones amongst us will not wait until it's coming to the end of the season to start taking action. Take action now whilst there is plenty in front of you. That's right, yes. So if there are any final com comments that anyone would like to make, please add them now. Otherwise, I will ask Kalina to give us her final comment and remark. This has been really powerful and so open and honest. I really appreciate it. Do we have any final questions for Kalina? Or oh, it looks like everybody's just been so blown away by <laughs> the sharing. So on that note then, what would be your final comment that you would like to share? My final comment will be um, take action organize yourself as our great prophet marcus garvey said organize or perish and many people have looked at that from just a physical point of view but it's actually also a mental point of view a spiritual point of view, in every sense and why those words were said is because this is a spiritual law the, the universe operates through order. So if you don't organize, then it means you are disorganized. Right. And if you are disorganized, ain't nobody gonna help you. Yes. Life can't help you. Because yes. what you're doing is actually going against the law, which means you're going against life. And that can never happen. Have you ever tried being in an ocean and try to swim against the tide. It's you, you never, you just, you tire yourself out. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing the words of wisdom. I hope you've enjoyed it this evening. It's, it's a great, great privilege. And wow, is all I can say. <laughs> yeah. Will you be joining us tomorrow at our book study? Club. I'll do my best. Okay, please do. For those of you who are joining us, you get a great opportunity. We have a relatively early evening this evening, so you get the chance to finish up on the chapter, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. From me, Tony Dada, your sole purpose coach, and... And from me, Empress Kalila. Okay, thank you. Good night. God bless. Take care, John. Bye for now.